Hey everyone, this is Time Rocker. I uh, want to help everybody out here a little bit for uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. A lot of people seem to be struggling with uh, linking their mobile version of the game up to Steam, uh, or people who don't even know how to do the data link, period. Um, they didn't. I, I've seen a lot of people who haven't been able to do it from uh, just the start of the game, or they just never did it, and people have no idea what they're doing um, or how to set it up. So I'm going to kind of go over all the different options here on how you guys need to set this up. For some people, it's going to be easier. For people like me, who maybe have used Gmail, it might be a little more a little more difficult. Uh, it might have a little extra step or two, uh, but it, it's pretty simple once you understand what you need to do. So I'm just going to kind of go over it. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to want to get into your game and just be at the main screen right here, right? This is what we're seeing. We're at the main screen. What you're going to do is you're going to hit up here at the top right corner. So you see up here, we're going to hit the, the little hamburgers, as people like to call them. We're going to go that and we're going to scroll down to where it says link data, right? So you're going to click link data. What this will do is it's going to bring up a, it's going to bring up a screen where you can say, uh, you know, it'll it'll say here. It's actually going to say Square Enix members. What you're going to do is click that. Um, and that's essentially what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this screen right here, right? So this is for people that have not linked at all. And if you haven't done it, this is what you're going to need to do. Um, if you haven't done it yet, you can do it in whatever way you like. It's really up to you, personal preference. So what you'll do is you'll link it up. I personally did a Gmail, so I clicked the Google thing. I logged into my Gmail account that I use for like all my Google Play stuff. That's what I did. Uh, if you want to do it with Steam or anything of that sort, you can. Facebook, You, if you have a Final Fantasy 11 or 14 account, or even just you can create your own account here. Or if you already have a Square Enix members account, you can do that. If you uh, if you don't have an account, when you do log in with one of these, it'll create you a a, a, a G or sorry a Square Enix member account. So it's going to make it for you automatically. You don't have to do anything. Um, so that that's going to basically back up the game, and it'll just say, "Hey, game is good. It's backed up. You're good to go." Right. So what that means is the game is now saved on the server, and it's linked to an account. So the game is never saved locally on your device. Only the data for the game is like graphics, music, uh, all that kind of stuff. Right, so that, but the actual data for your account, everything is all server side. So this, what this does is this links up uh, your account, uh, your data, your saved data up to an account. So this way you can bring it up on any device. So right now I have it pulled up on a, this is a phone um, that I'm using it on. Um, and so basically this is how you're gonna do that. And then uh, for those who, once you, if you're trying to use it on Steam or people who've already done the link data and they're having issues with Steam, what you're gonna wanna do is you bring Steam up, right? But when you load up Steam, uh, you're going to want to go to the very, very front page, just like this, right? You don't want to go, um, you don't want to get into the game. You don't want to tap to start. You want to be on this screen here, the title screen. Do not go beyond this. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're going to either get uh, shot into basically creating a new save data, if you will. Um, and then if you end up linking the account with that, you can potentially overwrite that account. We don't want to do that, right? So what you're going to do here is on this screen, almost the same exact setup, right? We're going to hit, we're going to hit the hamburgers top right. We're going to hit link data. We're going to click on that here. You're going to, it's going to pull up the screen here. Now, if you do not get this screen, the reason why this screen won't pop up, it'll actually throw an error at you is because you don't have steam overlay turned on. If you don't know how to turn on steam overlay, I'll show you out real quick. Uh, you're just going to have your steam up here. You'll click steam in the top left corner. You're going to click, uh, it's not showing you, but Steam in the top left corner, you're going to click Settings. Once you click Settings, uh, it's going to load up this screen here. And then you just scroll down, you see where it says In-Game right here? So In-Game on the left side. Uh, and then you're going to hit Enable Steam Overlay while In-Game. It'll allow that pop-up, that little window to pop up, so that way you guys can see what needs to be done. Um, so that's what you'll want to do there. And then what you'll do, just this is the screen that you would normally see if uh, if you're on a mobile phone or emulator or whatever you're using. You'll click the Square Enix members, and then from here you'll log in, right? So if you're doing something like Steam, Facebook, Twitter, uh, or even you know all these other accounts, I haven't experienced anybody who's having issues with this. What it'll do from this screen is you'll log, you'll do your login credentials, and then it'll bring you up to another screen that's going to say, hey, okay. It'll kind of pull up the data. It'll say, hey, here's how much currency you have. It's gonna, It should match with what you have on your mobile version or whatever other version you were previously using. Uh, whether you're using Apple, uh, iPhone, Android, emulator, it doesn't matter, right? It's all gonna, it, it's all It's all server side. So the, the, the device you're using doesn't matter. And this is why this works, right? So if you're having issues though, and you're using a Gmail account like I did, uh, here's what you're gonna need to do because this is the same problem I had. You're gonna need to go into Chrome and you're going to need 
to pull up uh, the official Square Enix uh, account here, right? So it's going to be, uh, I'll, I'll link it down below um, in, the, in the description. Uh, I'll also post it where I can here for you guys. Um, but if, you, if you're out, if you're not in the US, you're in like, uh, you're in the UK or some other country, then you just want to go to that respective server, right? Everyone's going to have something a little different. So you're going to want to log in here. And the login is going to be the same exact login you did to create that Square Enix Bridge original account. You may already have that account, but all you, it's pretty simple. You go to the login, so you click login here. Uh, you're going to put your information. Mine already has some of that info. It's just going to log me in quickly. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click down here. It's going to say linked accounts. So you click linked accounts. Okay. And then you're going to have uh, some stuff here. And then you'll have uh, all this information on all that. And then you see where it says up at the top, it says manage linked accounts. We're going to go ahead and click that. And then from here, uh, you can you can link it to different things, right? So you can do like like we saw in the game. There was Apple. There was Google. There was, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Steam, all, all options. You can honestly pick any of them if you want. I personally link, linked it up to Steam. Now, when I did this, I actually did not realize my Square Enix account was already linked to Steam. And I said, oh, okay. So all I did is I went back into the Steam version of the game. I selected Steam this time instead of Gmail because Gmail will always throw an error because um, the browser for uh, Steam does not support Gmail. So what'll happen is it'll just, uh, you, you'll have that there. You can select Steam. And then once you do, you get back into the game. Um, and then you'll just hit Steam here, and then it'll just quickly pull up your information. Uh, it might it might request some kind of a secondary authentication, send you some kind of email or anything like that. Uh, but once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, the game will close out. It, you'll get you'll basically it'll say link data is completed or whatever. You'll come back to this screen. I failed because obviously I didn't finish it because I've already done it. Um, and then all you do, bam, you hit start, and you're good to go. Even if, I, in fact, I have two versions of the game running right now, so even if I try to log in, it'll actually throw up a pop-up warning. This, for those who don't know, this is actually how this works. You can, you can essentially, if you have it running elsewhere, uh, it'll pop up and say, "Hey, the game is running on a different device. Do you want to kick that game off?" Essentially, so it'll load up here. Um, I've experienced this before. Um, once it starts, yeah, once you start doing something, or if the, they'll basically recognize, hey, they're on the same account. But now if you look at both of them, uh, you can see here, it's the same account, right? One's a little behind, because you can see the same energy, but everything, uh, same level, same max power level, whatever, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just let me know, or, or you ask in the comments, um, or on, on wherever I'm posting this. Um, and then I'll have the link in the YouTube description um, for like your Square Enix logins, things like that. Because you can actually go straight to your account links instead of having to go through that Square Enix website. But yeah, it's pretty simple, it's not too bad. Um, so just make sure, so keynotes, again, we'll just go over this real fast. Make sure you log in, uh, do, the, do the link. Uh, data link within the game itself on the original device you've been playing it on right if you haven't already if you already have you can skip that step then in the steam version on the title screen you need to do the data link at the title screen and then select the option that is uh, attached to your square enix members account again if it's gmail you'll need to go and attach something else to it to that account because they'll all be connected um, and then from there you're pretty much good to go on steam so if you guys have any questions or anything let me know otherwise you should be good to go and uh, have enjoy have fun playing the game because it's uh steam version has been pretty damn awesome